Hello and welcome to my new channel, Cookery Bookshelf. Um, I've started the channel to share a great love of mine which is cookery books and all things to do with food, food traditions, the background of food, history of food, um, writing about food of, of all different kinds. I love books in general but I especially love uh, collecting cookery books and reading them. I bought my first one when I was about 10 and I haven't really stopped since. And I've not got a huge collection, but I, I have got quite a few and I really wanted to share them with you. Now, I keep my cookery books in our bedroom, which isn't ideal. We're always told that our bedrooms should um, be tranquil havens uh, with nothing in them that's not to do with, with sleep and relaxation. But in real life, rooms have to double up. Um, we live in a masonette, which is fabulous. We love our home very much, but space is at a premium. And our bedroom doubles as storage for uh, books and also storage for our son's Lego collection. And while I'm not terribly keen about sleeping surrounded by boxes of Lego, I don't mind sleeping surrounded by books. So these are just some of the shelves we've got here, starting with the ones by um, our bed. These are shelves that my husband built into the alcove when we first moved in to try and make the most of all the space. So we have, as you can see, a, a, a collection of, of all different kinds here. Um, some of them are, are new books, books that are still in print. Um, others are vintage books. Um, or books that are just out of print. We've got some magazines, um, Home and Freezer Digest magazines from the 1970s. Uh, you just see a whole variety of um, <clears throat> different kinds of cookery books, different, um, different styles, different authors, all mixed up together. Here. Yeah. Top, we've got um, some American food magazines. Can't remember what they are. Everyday food, I think. Yep. And then uh, Home and Freezer Digest. As I said from the 1970s. And just coming down here, a whole variety of vintage and modern cookbooks. Down to at the bottom my much cherished collection of Supercook magazines, again from the 1970s. And then over here we've got some uh, books that are more modern. Um, Nigella Lawson, Elizabeth Luard. And coming down to um, some River Cottage books and some vintage Elizabeth Craig books. At the bottom of these shelves are uh, not cookery books, just some um, scripture and devotional books. Okay, and now I'll show you the bookshelves on the other side of the room. Here we're on the other side of the bedroom with some bully, billy bookcases. Um, in order to film this we've had to push the bed to the other side of the room because the, the, the bedroom is, is not huge. But I see again we've got at the top um, a whole mixture of vintage and, um, and new books. And um, <clears throat> they're not in any particular order, you'll notice. I would like to get them into um, order of uh, different types, uh, different countries or, of food, different styles of cooking. And I have tried, if you come down to these bookshelves, just here, here and here, they are somewhat arranged in country order. But when you've got, when you've not got a lot of room to put your books, you have to, you don't really have the luxury of arranging them that way, you sort of fit them in where you can. And if you can get all your small books together, it might give you an extra shelf in a bookcase. So maybe one day I'll get them arranged in a bit better order, but, but not at the moment. Down at the bottom, on the bottom shelf, 
um, not strictly speaking cookery books, but home management books. Again, some new and some from the 30s through to the 50s. On to the next bookshelf. In the flat boxes, I've got a collection of cookery pamphlets. Again, some of them vintage, um, most of them vintage actually, uh, from the 20s onwards through to the 70s. And some more coming down here. And again, right down to the bottom of the bookshelf on this one and finally on in this little wooden bookshelf that we rescued from being sent to the dump um, and, and fits in really well you've got just two shelves of cookery books at the moment but it's it's filling up fast so what I thought would be would be fun to do is if I shared with you um, either a book by book or a collection of books that are similar or books by the same author and we just shared a bit about um, recipes that I've tried from them, what the book is like, any stories attached to the book or to the author. And it would be fabulous if, if you could chime in with you know comments if you've got the same book or if you've got a book that's like it or a book that you would recommend and just so we can um, share information about uh, recipe books and cookery books. So if you're interested, if you'd like to watch more, um, please subscribe or give or and or give a thumbs up at the bottom and um, look forward to seeing you again shortly with uh, another video. Bye bye.